you how to use the repeat and the mirror tool in the TSL. Right now you can see that I have traced a half shape. I show this to you in 3D. Please see now that I have also traced a turbo vent over here. I'll go back to 2D. So on observing closely, I realize that there are four more of these turbo vents over here. So I want to trace them. So avoiding tracing them again and again, I can use them. Uh, I can use my repeat tool. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this obstacle. I'll copy paste it using Control C and Control V. And then you can see over here a repeat count appears. So for that, I'll click on R. And now type in the number of such obstacles which are required. So in this case, it is four. Once I type in four, I'll get four of these and now I can actually place them easily on my roof. I'll go back in 3D. So here you can see with the help of repeat tool, I have placed five of the turbo vents easily. I'll go back to 2D. Now I also want to design this particular side of the shed, right? So this shed is, which is already designed is declined towards the southwest. But this would be declined towards the northeast. That is, this one is going to be a complete mirror image of this one. For that, I have my mirror tool. I click on this particular uh, particular shed. I'll copy paste it again using Control C, Control V. Now I will click M from my keyboard. So it takes me to the mirror mode. Now I click on the edge along which I want to mirror my image. So this is the edge along which I want to mirror. Now I have a mirrored image. I'll take it and place it accordingly. I'll show that to you again in 3D. So you'll see a complete shed has been realized using the mirror as well as repeat tool. 